This is Fox 5 News, the most powerful name in local news. Now to that story that is crossing international boundaries. You know, family claims a New York City businessman is illegally being held in a Bolivian prison. And as Fox 5's Linda Schmidt shows us, they held a rally outside the Bolivian mission to bring attention to his case. Well, the wife of a New York businessman, their five children and 11 grandchildren, in addition to hundreds of other people, brought their message today, and it is a resounding message outside of the Bolivian mission here in Midtown. They are demanding his release from a Bolivian prison. They say he is absolutely innocent. Free Jacob Ostracker! Free Jacob Ostracker! It has been really awful Watching him suffer is, is unbearable. It is unbearable what has happened to him. Miriam Ostriker says that her husband was in Bolivia to help boost the agricultural market there when he was suddenly arrested. Officials say that Bolivian authorities have been investigating Ostriker for money laundering, but in 11 months have not charged him with anything. He was basically kidnapped. There's no reason for him to go through what he's going through. He didn't do anything wrong. He's an innocent man. New York State Assemblyman Dove Hyken is helping to lead the charge to free Ostriker. We are addressing ourselves not only to Bolivia today, but we want to know where Secretary of State Clinton is. We want to know where the Secretary of State is to intervene on behalf of Jacob Ostriker. Assemblyman Hyken and the family believe that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has been missing in action in this case. We need to have much more pressure put on the government, much more pressure put on the Bolivian government, whatever it takes to take an innocent American citizen out of that hellhole. And Miriam Ostriker also says that her husband is on a hunger strike. He has already lost 40 pounds and she is not giving up her fight to get him back home. In Midtown, I'm Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News. And we reached out to the U.S. State Department for comment, but we haven't heard back from them yet.